Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is uh, June 2003 in paper four. And in this question, he given us this kind of situation. Okay, whenever we make this kind of question, so first of all, we decide what is the angle we'll use. So that is why I will make one X axis force. This is, ang uh, sorry, ang uh, X axis. And I will deal this uh, top, this line PQ is behaving like a Y axis. Okay, now very interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm going to discuss with you now. First of all, what is this angle 60 degree? So half is 30 here and half this 30 here. Very clear point. And what is angle between Y axis and X axis? Is a clear approach. This total angle is 90 degree, 90. Out of 90, 30 gone. So this is a confirmed 60 degree. You can ask why we need 60, sir. Because problems that I don't have the angle. What is the angle between this 10 and this 6? This box, this box represents 90 degree. This full 90 degree. So out of 90, subtract 60, you'll get this 30. So it means now we are eligible to get the each angle. So first of all, have a look here. I will make a two forces. I will make it two forces. One force is uh, like two component of each force. This force acting parallel to x axis, and this force parallel acting to y axis. And this 30 is given, so this angle is confirmed 30. And I discussed this before, even this 30 given. So the way, where angle is given is called cos component. So how to write it? Force is six, angle is 30. And what is writing style, writing way? First you write force, then either sine or cos, and then angle comes. So let's start. Force is six, angle is 30. So this becomes what? Six cos 30. And what about this? Because angle not given here, so this behave as a six sine 30. I hope so this part is very clear now. Regarding this 10 Newton force, very important thing I'm, discuss, I'm going to discuss with you. So please hold your calculator in your hands because I want to tell you a very important thing. So one is this force acting and one force this acting. So first of all, we'll decide. We want to use 60 like this, or, or you want to use 30 like this. And you're surprised to know <clears throat> both are same, but I will convince you first of all, for example, I use 60. So what, what is the, this component? We can use it here. Force is 10, angle is 60. So 10 cos 60. And this become 10 sine 60. But imagine some students say, no, sir, I don't want to use 60. I want to use 30. If this is 30, you, I use this 30 if I use, for example. So this component will be what? This component will be 100% cos component. Why? Because I use 30. So when I use 30, so this component will be what? This component will be 10 cos 30. And please type in calculator using 60, this is a 10 sign 60. Using, using this 30, this is a 10 cos 30. And please type all of you in calculators 10 sine 60 or 10 cos 30. 100% they will match. And both are, uh, I think, uh, five root three. I repeat my words. Second, yes, sir. Both are five root three. Both are five root three. I hope so clear. So this is coming also five root three and this is coming also five root three. So it means you understood from here, it is a no matter, you use any angle. So you use the other one or use the first one, no matter at all. So I believe, I think I will not use 30. I will use 60. So if I use 60, this become what? 10 cos 60. And this become what? 10 sine 60. I think point is very clear. Come on the other point. So this is done. So I use uh, uh, this two forces done. This 10 left. So 10 has again two components. One is this force and one is this force. Again, my, my question from you, or question from myself even. So uh, you use the 30. If I use this 30 here, so this become what? 30 here. So this force become 10 cos 30. Or if you don't like this 30, use this 60. If I use this 60, then naturally it become what? 
10, uh, 10 sine 60. I hope so, clear a point. So I think I will go, go for 30, no problem at all. So let's start. What about this? 10 sine 30. Okay. Or I think so for, for my easiness, uh, I, I use this 30 here. Same, I use 30 here. So let's start. I erase these forces. I erase these forces. Okay. Even I erase this uh, angle even. I erase this angle even. And I use the other angle, this 30. Okay. I'm not using the other one. So this becomes 10 cos 30, then sine 30. What is the plus point? This is right side, this is left side. They will cancel. Because one right side, one left side, they are balanced, they are same forces, even angle same, even, even forces same. So they will cancel each other. This is the reason I just take it. Even, even you take the other one, no problem at all. So let's start now. I think all forces done. Now let's start the remaining part. He's asking that find out the resultant of the three forces. So let's start. But first part he's asking in direction of PQ. I repeat my words, where is the PQ? If you look at it carefully, PQ is this, this PQ. So indirectly, he's, he's asking parallel to y-axis. So indirectly, he's asking ry. I repeat my words, ry. So I'm finding ry now. This is a part A, I part A, I part A. So what is ry components, my students? So, so simple, these two forces acting upwards, I repeat my word, this is upward, this is upward, and this downwards. So let's start. So I'm writing it now here, 10 cos 30 plus 10 cos 30, and this is a minus sign. So minus six sine 30. I think the uh, point is very clear. And uh, let, let me check, I, I'm typing myself. And 10 times two cos 30, and times to two and minus six times two sine 30. It is coming with me as a exact answer I can write, okay? Or three as a, but not three as a better. 14.3205. Why I'm writing a so big value for more accurate answer? So this is the first part done. In direction of PQ, up and down. What is said? Perpendicular to PQ. I repeat my words. Perpendicular to PQ. What is perpendicular to PQ? This is PQ, and this is called perpendicular. Short story, uh, perpendicular means x-axis. So in short, he is asking Rx. So how to get Rx, students? So simple, right side forces plus and left side force minus. So I'm writing both. So six cos 30 come from here, and plus 10 sine 30, come from here, minus 10 sine 30, come from here. And you know very well, they will cancel out. They will cancel out because one positive and one negative. And six times two cos 30 will give you three root three. Three root three. Okay, now I hope so. This part is very, very clear. Now uh, these two parts over, so uh, three marks gained. Now last two marks, he said, find magnitude of resultant force. And as I discussed many times with you, whenever we all decide this thing, best technique is what? Make a new cross. And ask yourself, what is Rx? Rx is three root three. And is a positive or negative? Positive. And I discuss in detail when it is positive, so right side, positive, left side, negative. So I will make a right side. This is a three root three. This is three root three. And where is Ry? Is this 14.302? So positive. So naturally positive upwards and negative downwards. Because positive, so I will make here positive. I believe is okay. And this is Ry is coming, how much? 15.32. I'm writing here 14.3205. And now this is a 90 degree for sure. And this is called resultant force R. And now I'm going to use a Pythagoras theorem and going to finish my question. So let's start. So what is Pythagoras theorem? R to power two equal to R x square plus R y square. And I take a root of the whole thing like that and square of three root three and, and square of 14.3205 14 14 whole square. And when I find it in calculator, so I'm finding, wait a minute please, uh, plus 14.3205 and square and take a root of the whole thing. 
and my answer is coming resultant is coming 15.2 newtons this is must 3 sf so alhamdulillah rabbil alamin this part is clear but what is the question he's asking for find magnitude of resultant free forces he did not ask for angle if he asked for direction i will go for this angle but in this question he is not asking the uh, direction so we this is our final answer i believe the core point is very very clear